How can I be holy as God is holy if I am a sinner? I guess I'll answer that. Um, can I just see it? So I'll repeat the question and then we'll, we'll answer it. So the question again is, how can I be holy as God is holy if I'm a sinner? Good question. I, how I, I would answer that is, when you become a Christian, when the Holy Spirit comes into your life and it transforms you, you're no longer... Um, it, uh, you're still a sinner, but you, you've gotten a, a transformed heart, a transformed nature, and you've actually got the righteousness of Christ imputed to you. So, if you were to stand before God as a Christian right now, you are holy. Because you got what Christ, His perfect life, imputed to you, placed in your account. Um, so, that, that, that's, I, I don't know if that's in the context of that. That question. I guess that's good. If you guys got anything to add, go for it. Well, I could just add to that that we're holy, completely holy, positionally, because of the work of Christ. Um, but as far as uh, sanctification, which I think maybe the question was trying to get at, I'm not sure. Um, that is a continual, continual process. And we certainly won't be as holy as God is um, in our behavior in this life. Um, as a matter of fact, I might even throw this out there. This might be a little controversial. But I don't even know if we'll be as holy as God in heaven. Uh, we'll be righteous and perfect, but holy means other. And I think there's always going to be kind of holiness about God that we'll never get. And I think the question probably had in mind God's command to be holy as I am holy, um, which I think is in Exodus, right? Exodus, and it's, some, it's reiterated it's in the New Testament. Peter. First Peter. Yeah. It's, Peter it's in First Peter and then the rough. Go ahead. The, the actual verse is um, First Peter uh, chapter 1, verse 16. And the verse simply goes, since it is written, you shall be holy for I am holy. Uh, what it's quoting is actually in Leviticus, uh, verse 11.44, and this is written to the same audience, just so you know. Uh, Peter was written to the Jews specifically. Uh, Peter was an apostle to the Jews. And I think that's in Acts 15, if I'm, if I'm mistaken. But it talks about Peter, James, and John are the apostles to the Jews. And Paul is apostle to the Gentiles. So it's Peter, who's a Jew, writing to the Jews about be ye holy. And a Jew would be familiar with of Leviticus 11.44. And this is the context. Verse 43 says, You shall not make yourselves detestable with any swarming thing that swarms. You shall not defile yourselves with them and become unclean through them. For I am the Lord your God. Consecrate yourselves, therefore, and be ye holy, for I am holy. You shall not defile yourselves with any swarming thing that crawls on the ground. For I am the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. You, therefore, be holy, for I am holy. So what the context of what's being happening there is that God has just delivered them out of the land of Egypt and is telling them, you know, don't be like the other people who are outside of my people. Don't be like the outside world. And that was actually just all the Gentiles at that point. It was just the Jews, the people who God delivered from Egypt, and everybody else. And God's basically saying, don't be like the people out there who are not my people. You are to be a distinct, uh, distinct within my people. So that is the context in which it comes through. And then God himself, I think God is basically saying, it's like, I am not like those other gods that they worshipped. I make myself distinct. So you should make yourself distinct because I'm the distinct God that you're following. So you shouldn't be like the other gods. Hopefully that answers the question. Yeah. 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 